the adventurers. <clears throat> well, a bit of a afternoon, late afternoon ride here. A very late afternoon. It's going to be dark. Going to test out our headlights. But I'm wearing my Komaini uh, Rama 2 jacket, which I've been using for a while. I've made a couple of little videos um, on it, but I kept sound making myself sound like a bloody advert, and I, I don't want to be an advert. Uh, I just want to, you know, let you know what I think about the jacket. Um, so Komaini uh, or, or Zaki is the Australian importer, and they've very generously given me this jacket um, because they're trying to get the name of Kamini out there in Australia it's uh, it's not one of the more well-known brands um, if you compare it to the other motorbike gear in this range then um, I, I think it's well it's certainly well worth a look at I'm really happy with it so far um, so what is it comparing to? Well, you know, you've got the Dry Rider Adventure 3 series, Adventure series. You've got RST's uh, Adventure 3. You've got, uh, there's a few Dainese sort of D-Dry something or others. They're quite a bit more expensive and they don't come with any body armor. I think they come with a bit of foam pad that they just expect you to throw away yeah but the the Komaini gear you know it, it comes with with armor like a, a proper back protector CE2 rated uh, look at that view CE2 rated um, shoulders and and elbows and it comes with chest plates yeah and that's just that just doesn't happen in other gear so it's got you know it's got great sort of functional um, functional vents most of the it's interesting most of the gear in this sort of range of range of stuff has um, has very similar venting they've, they've all got these open chest pockets they've all got the sort of rear exhaust vents and they've all they nearly all got sleeve vents but uh, the Kamini sleeve vents actually zip you know all the way almost to the shoulder they go up and they go down and they're not restricted so the for example the, the dry rider gear has like the tensioning straps over the top of the zip so to get the zip off down, undone is a, you know, a bit of a pain in the ass whereas the Kamani stuff is, is pretty good so they're all Cordura um, shells you know they're, they're all very similar in that regard so really what what you're getting for the same money uh, is is this good body armor I'll be a bit careful here I'm on nobbies so I recorded a couple of a couple of bits um here, here's something I just recorded the other day uh, showing you the armor um, yeah hopefully this bit makes sense So the Komaini jacket. Um, so it's got uh, it's got the traditional vents on the front that, um, that 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 roll back into themselves and 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 then zip up again, leaving these big big vents at the at the front. It's got the exhaust um, the exhaust whatever vents on the back. That's all that's all fine. Most of the modern jackets have these things, but I think what really puts Komaini apart, um, there's a few little things like buttons that, that hold this together. It doesn't, 100, it doesn't rely on the Velcro to keep the flaps together because the Velcro does always wear out. So you've got a button at the bottom, a button at the top, and then a button uh, for, the, for the neck part. This is actually an adjuster so that you can just uh, firm it right up as, as tight as you want uh, around the neck. These are sleeve zips. Um, you can zip them up from the from the bottom, all the way up, almost to the shoulder, which is which is really awesome. Uh, and you can also zip them from the top top down. So either either way, you know, if you just want a, a small area open. 
So in the in the in the shoulders and the elbows, you've got this CE Level Two armor, which is the uh, you know soft, impact resistant um, armor. But what I, what I really love about this Komani jacket is in the back here, we've got a real back protector. You know, so it's foam pad on the outside, and it's the um, the hyperextension resistant um, armor. You know, it's not just one of these foam pads that sits in the back. So that that is a real bonus. So that of course sits in the in the pocket in the back, and then in the chest, there's a little zip. There's no zip, sorry. That's a little just a velcroed pocket. You've got um, chest plates. So that's another thing that you just don't get on uh, on these style of jackets. Actually, some of them do come with pockets, uh, but you then have to buy your own chest plates. Um, Dineasy uh, is a classic for that. They'll give you, uh, they don't even give you a back protector, nothing at all. They expect you to buy a separate one and put it, put it in there. Um, but then you're still paying the same price for the jacket. So yeah, so then it's got all the standard features. It's got a zip on the back of the neck there for the, uh, for the neck protector, um, is this a neck protector attachment base? Uh, it's got the little removable, yeah, collar. I guess so you can wash it easy. Uh, the jacket does come down quite low on the hips, which is uh, expected, really. Um, yeah, yeah. And then one, uh, one, one other good feature. So, you know, it's all buttoned up. Got this neck, which I keep on the loosest setting. But um, you've also can just zip it up from the base. If you need to go to the loo, <laughs> easy to get to, right? How good is that? So, yeah, I, I really think that uh, this Komani gear uh, is good value for money. You're getting uh, proper armor in the jacket um, for the same price as. You know, all, all of the competitors. Uh, uh, Japanese designed, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely quality gear. Um, so if you, if you want this textile type of gear, I think this is uh, certainly something uh, to look at. Hey, one, one, uh, one thing about the waterproofness of the, the entire range of textile jackets, if you're wearing the uh, braces, then let me show you this if you're wearing the braces and you can hold your pants up from you know when you're sliding down the road then the waterproof liner which is not in at the moment but the waterproof liner sits down to here and water that comes through the jacket will run down the liner and then over onto the top of your pants which are waterproof if you zip the jacket and the pants together which is zipped right here at the top then the waterproof liner um, stop has to stop here and that is above the line of the waterproof liner of the pants so water will go into your pants so if you're ever riding along and you get though that uh, that cold drip you know where it's coming from you don't don't zip your jacket and your pants together wear the braces yeah so if you are interested in um, a set of textile gear or you're looking for a set of textile gear definitely look at the uh it's all tight, all tight corners what am i talking about definitely look at the uh komaini gear so as i said i'm wearing the rama 2 jacket and uh and the four season pants and uh, I'm, I'm I'm really happy with them so far I'll, of course I'll let you know how they're going uh, on our next sort of big adventure ride or weekender or you know when it rains oh, a big stick on the ground get to turn on so can you see that one two stop 
looking at the lights, Brendan. Just look at the road. Back on. And you can tell everyone again that your arms are cold. And I will just zip up my sleeve zip. Ah, you got your camera turned on? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Brendan. <laughs> yeah? Hey, Nerf. Hey, Nerf. Yeah? Um, I like you so much. <laughs> you are like one of the best guys I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you, do you want this public knowledge? Are you, <laughs> are you, did you bring your chaps? <laughs> My chaps? We can stop over here and just yeah, do a bit of Neil Finn. Hang on, yeah, I got, hang on, I got to turn, yeah. turn, my, turn my camera off, hang on.